Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video we're going to be fitting our digital sound decoder into this Hornby Class 31 and uh, hopefully get it all fitted out for sound and then show a couple of shots of it running around the layout and go through the sound functions. The Hornby 31 has been around for a few years now. This one started life as a black FM rail version. I repainted it into a blue as a 31.4 with the high intensity headlight and it's had a weathering as well. This 31 was previously seen in the video I did about modifying the bogies and uh, wheel sets. Right, first thing we've got to do is remove the body and depending on what 31 you've got you will have to take off these jumper cables that are here on the side just be careful not to break them off as you are uh, doing your work I'll get my loco, put the loco in its loco cradle hold it securely upside down and we remove the four screws that hold the body on there's one there and then one there and then the same on the opposite side. So we'll get that done. All right, that's all four screws removed. So it should be a case of just popping the body off. Be careful um, when you do this because the marker lights can catch on the cab floors. And there we are, we're into the workings. So the first thing we want to do is remove the existing chip which is a Backman chip. Just ease that out. I'll keep that spares for later. Right. <clears throat> Inside the TTS decoder, the decoder and the speaker, and also a uh, comprehensive booklet that goes through the sound options and programming options. In several different languages. There's also other instructions about the warranty. I've fitted these before so I won't read them again but if you're doing this for the first time it is worth reading those. And there it is, the speaker and decoder all packaged ready. Supplied with a couple of screws to fix the speaker on and there we go to fit the speaker inside the body you need to remove this fan assembly um, you undoing four screws There's also a <coughs> band in there which powers it, which I think will have to be cut because there's no way to get in that and salvage the band. Go in and cut the band. There we go. Ensuring you don't cut any wires as well. There's the band easily replaced if you ever want to put your fan mechanism back in. Um, keep these handy to have as spare parts. You could uh, detail another model with that quite easily. It's quite a nice bit. Right, and now we undo the decoder and unwrap it. Orange is pin one, so we'll put that in. Doesn't want to go in for some reason. There we go. Right, that's the decoder in. And the speaker... Right, the speaker is now in place. I've held that in place with some blue tack along the sides. Um, a note on the PCB is older 31s have got an extra capacitor here, which is where on newer 31s the chip would lay. So there's no room to put the chip between the PCB and the body shell. So what I've done is I've wrapped the PCB in insulation tape 
and it's actually tucked under the PCB in a gap and the wiring routed as such. There are two um, screw fixings as I mentioned on the speaker but they don't fit in the holes left by the fan. If you screw it in one side you can't get the body on. Um, that's why this shot is a little bit out of sequence because I found that out. Um, right that's all in. I'm going to have to test the lighting units to make sure they're working before we reassemble the 31. Um, once the body's on, put the body shell on before screwing it on the correct way, just to make sure that the lights work. Um, if they don't, you'll have to adjust the whoops, you'll have to adjust the contacts just to make sure the lights work. If you're happy that the lights are all working, go ahead and reassemble it with the screws. And then we'll go out and uh, test the engine. Right, here we are at the layout. The uh, 31's all done. We'll start by uh, testing the lights on the model. Yep. That's excellent. That means the tabs inside the body shell are fitting as they should. And we'll now start by F1 is engine start up. That's very good and nice and loud. Sounds like a 31 should. We'll shut the engine sound off for now so we can hear the other functions and then I'll start it again shortly. F2 is your high low horn and F3 is your low high horn. And number four is brake squeal. Uh, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine functions. They're all um, when the engine's running, so we'll do them in a minute. Uh, function ten is compressor. Function eleven is door slam. Function twelve is a fan. Function thirteen is the high horn. And 14 is the low. Very good. 15 is the primer. <laughs> 16 is slow flange squeal. The 17 is your Spyrax valve, so when it's been working hard and shut down. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. Uh, 18 and 19 are horn sounds. And 20 is wagons buffering. So you have got another five functions on there. Wagons, clanging, coupling, whistle, buffering. But unfortunately the Dynamis will only support 20 functions, so 21 to 25 I'm able to demonstrate. If I was to run this in uh, to make it sound more realistic, what I would do is I'd set the primer going and then start the engine up. Yeah, that sounds a bit more realistic. Right now, the engine's running, we can test out function five, which is notch up. And then F6 is notched down. And F7 returns it to idle. Now if we just turn that off, F9 is a function that's also fitted to my DCC sound 60. Whereas if you press F9 and then press engine start, it's a cold start override. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's quite good. That's very good. So yeah, there are the sounds. The function list is listed in the brochure. Just there. So uh, yeah, that's very good. I'm impressed with that. A DCC sound decoder for forty-three pounds. Well worth the money. Get them on some stock and have it uh, running around the garden.
a short video of how I fit BCC TTS Hornby sounds to a Class 31 for less than uh, less money than a round of drinks, I suppose. £43, and you uh, really do bring the models to life. So, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. There'll be more content coming on the channel soon.